Hey folks, it is Kevin here in Japan sitting on my scaffolding covered balcony high up in my apartment and I want to make another quick video about teaching. So, recently I wrote an ebook called Teaching in Asia Tales and the Real Deal and one section of the book is called The Job Hunt and in the book I talk about how you can find a job in South Korea or Japan teaching. And one thing I mention is your appearance. That's very important. Now, when you're in the job application um, period, uh, you're, you're back in America or Canada or the UK or Australia or New Zealand, wherever you may be from, and you are applying for a job in South Korea or Japan, um, a recruiter or a company will ask you for a photograph. You have to send a photo of yourself with your resume. And I know what you're thinking, hey, wait a second, that's kind of discriminatory. Um, I wouldn't have to do that if I was living in Canada or America, and that is true. And in a country like Canada, where I'm from, that is considered discriminatory because people might judge you um, upon your appearance, and you might get a job or not get a job based on your appearance. But you aren't applying for a job in Canada or America or the UK. And that's the reality of it, guys and gals out there. Um, and that's one thing you have to remember, when you are applying for a job in Asia, it is Asia, it is not your home, it is not your country, things are done in a different way. And to be honest, things are more conservative. So, when you are applying for that job, um, you have to send a picture. Make sure you send a good picture. Make sure you send a picture where, to be honest, and this is just straight out there advice to help you, you know, in your quest for, for getting employment. Um, Make sure that in that job you are er, that, that job in that photo you are well dressed, um, you are clean cut, uh, you you know get a haircut beforehand. Make sure you're well dressed. If you have any facial piercings, remove them. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but it's what, what, that's not right. Hey, you know you're 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 planning on moving to another country to be a teacher. Okay, now if you're a teacher in Canada, um, I'm a teacher in Canada. Um, well, not at the moment, but you know I have taught in Canada. Um, it would be it would it would not be acceptable to have a facial piercing or facial piercings if you were teaching an elementary school class in Canada. Um, it's definitely not okay in Korea or Japan, where again the culture is more conservative. Um, if you have any visible tattoos, make sure they are not visible. Um, those are definitely frowned upon in Japan and Korea. Tattoos are often associated with organized crime and mafia. Um, Make sure you're again you're well dressed. Um, if you're a guy, maybe wearing a tie. Um, <clears throat> do not send a picture of you at a party. Do not send a picture of you with a freaking beer in your hand or something like that. And in the past, I have worked in HR, human resources, and I have seen people send photos like that, and that will guarantee you not getting a job. So if you are serious about getting a job teaching in South Korea or Japan, you will have to send a photo. Take that aspect very seriously. Find a good photo. Find a photo where you look good. Um, clean shaven if you're a guy. I mean, of course you might have a beard, but you know, like you got the five o'clock shadow, you want to shave that off. Um, you know, make yourself look a bit conservative if, you know, and because um, that's the way the cookie crumbles. You are moving to another country, different culture, and if you want to work there, you have to do things their way. That's the way it works. Alright guys, um, this is Kevin here in Japan. I hope that helped you. A little teacher tip for finding work in South Korea and Japan. The photo on your job application. And that is a little section I cover in my book, Teaching in Asia, Tales and the Real Deal. The link is below. If you're thinking about going to Korea, you're thinking about going to Japan to teach, this book below the link, uh, this ebook, um, uh, it's definitely going to help you. It's going to definitely start you off and put you in the right direction and answer a lot of your questions. Go check it out. Um, hey, you know, why not? All right, guys, I hope this uh, little teaching tips video helped you, and there will be more to come. I hope you love my beautiful balcony. Look at that. They're painting my building, everyone, here, 15 floors up. Okay, later, folks. Take care and have a great weekend, or week.